Hey everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to show you how you can reference entity related data in Flow. So in terms of the agenda today, it's a beginner level topic. I'm going to go through a quick recap of what you can currently do today in a Dynamics 365 workflow. And then I'm going to show you how you can perform this in Flow. So in terms of what you're familiar with already today in Dynamics 365 workflows is when you create a record such as a task, which you can see in my screenshot, you can reference related data from a record such as contact. So in here, what I'm doing is that against the case, I want to reference some data from the value in the customer lookup field. And in Dynamics 365 workflow, it's quite easy because all you need to do is select the form assistant and in flow, it's somewhat different. So the other scenario that I'm going to show you today is how to reference entity related data through an email. And so here's another screenshot where I'm displaying an email that gets sent to the contact that is in the case. And then I'm referencing the first name of the contact in that email. So it's, it's pretty simple, basic uh, workflow scenarios, which are valid use case scenarios in real life. So I'm going to show you how we can replicate this in Flow. Okay, so I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to show you the first flow. So the first flow is the one where I talked about when a case has been up, sorry, when a case is created and the support type is equal to Premiere, then we're going to create a task. And in the task, I'm going to reference the customer value that is in the case record. Now, if you simply create a flow as what you're seeing on screen right now, where you've got a trigger and you've got the condition and then you've got the yes path. So when the expression is true, it will go down through the yes path. And in here, I'm referencing the customer field from the trigger step, which is up here when the case is created. Now, if you leave it as this, what will happen is when you have a case and that task gets created when the flow is executed, you are going to be presented with the GUID. So if you think back to my WTF episode where I showed um, details about the how to reference a lookup, because it is flow and it's using the OData of APIs, it will recognize that well, it's just going to see it as a GUID. It, it doesn't know that it's got a string value against it because that level of detail is in the actual record itself. So the way to do it in Flow is you need to adjust your Flow so that it will have what we call a get action. So in the get action, that is where we will reference that lookup field. And from within that get record, that's when we can select fields within that entity that we're referencing in that get record step. So think of your get record as the form assistant that you're currently used to in Dynamics 365 workflows. Whenever you want to reference entity related data in the scenario when it's a many to one relationship, in other words, a lookup field. Okay, so I'm gonna use get record for common data service connector. So here's my get record. And then I'm going to select my default environment. And the entity that I'm going to select is the account. And my ident I, I, item, <laughs> I'm to speak today. my item identifier will be the customer. So I select this. And now what I need to go back and do in my create task step is I need to update this expression here because as you can see, it's referencing the trigger step. I need it to now reference the get record step where I'm referencing the account entity. So I'm gonna hit this cross, which will delete it. And then now when I enter in 
account name, we will see that it's pulling through the account name from my get record action. Cool, so now when I select account name, and let's hit save, and we'll go back into my app, Okay, so I've created the case, so we'll give it a few more seconds. Okay, cool. So now we can see that the task has been created. And when we have a look at the task, we can now see that it's now correctly referencing the account name because it's retrieving it through the get record action. Okay, so that is the first UK use case that I want to go through with you today. The other one is when you want to go ahead and send an email. So I'm gonna show you what this flow looks like. So in this flow, what I'm doing is that when the case has been resolved, so state code is equal to one, which is resolved. And normally what we do in Dynamics 365 workflows is that we can reference uh, the contact, which is what I showed in my screenshot in the PowerPoint slide. However, if you do this, what's going to happen is that the flow will actually fail to execute. The reason for this is as we open up the success path, you'll see that the value that it's passed through is the GUID of the contact. So rather than the email address, because we're referencing again the contact from the case, Flow just sees it as a good rather than the email address. So the same steps apply where in Flow you need to have a get record action and in here I've selected contacts and this time I'm saying that the item identifier is the contact lookup field in the case. And then as we scroll down, this is where we can then enter in our details for email. And so if I search for this, we can select the email of the contact and it's retrieving it from my get record action. And then we can also reference the first name as well of the contact. Cool. Everything else is going to be referenced from the trigger step, which is the case. So this is all fine. So now when I hit save, and then we jump back into my app. So we'll use this one, and we shall resolve the case. Okay, so now my case has been resolved. So let's go back into my flow and we'll hit the refresh button. And we'll now see that the flow has successfully executed, sorry, succeeded in executing. And fingers crossed that this has worked, which it has, awesome. And so now when we click on this step in here where we are sending an email, in the shared mailbox, you'll now see that there's an email address presented. And when we go back into our um, shared mailbox that has sent the email, we should now see that the email has been sent. Awesome. So here's an email that has been sent. Now you'll notice that the time format looks a bit quirky and that is what I will show you in my next WTF episode so make sure you stay tuned. So in terms of a quick recap today, if you ever want to reference related entity data, you need to use the get record action. And this applies to both CDS connectors as well as the Dynax 365 connectors. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and I also have my own blog. Bye!
Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go.